Hi there. Um, welcome to Tez Talks number four, I think. Three or four. Four, maybe. Um, okay, so I wanted to uh, talk today a little bit about overcoming adversity and the strength that you get through darkness. Um, I always talk about the healing I've received when I've been at my lowest points in my life. And I don't care where you are or what you're doing, everyone goes through something pretty traumatic in their lives at some stage. And life is just a series of peaks and valleys. And I always say it's like the waves rolling in and you just have to ride the waves. And a good friend of mine recently said it's when you find the beauty beneath the waves and the stillness beneath the waves. And um, I consider that to be... Uh, my spirit and my soul and um, external things will come and they'll shift and they'll change and um, if you can stay as intact and as strong as you can on the inside then you'll be able to uh, maneuver through these waves um, in a stronger and more positive way. Anyway so I thought I would tell you um, first of all I guess I should probably say why I'm doing these videos um, I have such an interest and such a passion in self-development work and, um, and I really love deepening my spirituality and I, I wouldn't say I'm religious per se, um, there isn't one religion that I take to more, I grew up very Catholic and I really am so happy with my upbringing and how um, Catholicism really instilled some beautiful um, morals in me and I, I really embrace and accept the Bible and the stories in the Bible and um, but for me I, I would look at myself as a little more spiritual I can recognize and embrace um, ideas from lots of different religions and um, I guess over the last year I really have been through a transitional period and I realized that I love my job and I love acting and I love being able to reach people and touch people but I wasn't feeling like I was um, very fulfilled and what really does fill me up and feeds my spirit is a sense of um, having some sort of an impact uh, however small that may be it's really important to me to um, reach a wide community whether it's helpful or not um, it just really speaks to me and I, I went through such a great life lesson last year and that's what really sparked this idea of your Zen life um, that Phoebe and I have created together and um, as an extension of that it's these are uh, these talks have been really beautiful and very therapeutic and it's just so nice to be able to communicate with you guys in this way um, through reading your comments and and I can um, just talk to you and I, I think it's really important for you to know that it doesn't matter if you're you know a celebrity or if you're in Hollywood or if you're um, you know living a life that seems very charmed. <laughs> um, everyone goes through their peaks and their valleys and the waves in life are very difficult to navigate through at times and I am um, and I wanted to share with you that uh, everyone struggles no matter what journey you're on, what, no matter what path, everyone around you is going on some sort of um, is battling through some sort of a journey and uh, even those who who seem happiest they usually are navigating through something um, so last year I had a really difficult time um, was questioning kind of what I was doing with my life and um, and I, I felt like there was this void inside of me which I kept on trying to fill with external things and um, I had my heart broken last year really terribly and I was very badly betrayed and I, um, it was humiliating and um, upsetting and made me question a lot of stuff and 
Um, at the same time that that happened, uh, my mom had some uh, health issues as well, and she'd actually come out. I'd flown her out to Los Angeles to be with me while I was grieving um, the breakdown of this relationship, and um, and she really suffered with some some health issues at that time. So it was one thing after the next, and. I remember um, being literally on the floor, bawling my eyes out, um, just suffering terribly and, and feeling alone and scared and unsure of the future and just um, completely dark, like very, 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 I was at a very low point and um, I realized that there was nothing I could do but find the strength within myself to, to pull me out of it. Um, each and every one of us has what I always talk about is the warrior spirit inside of us. And it was almost like this little warrior came over me and picked me up off of the ground and dried my tears and told me um, that I already had everything I needed and that the answers are already within me. I'm not going to find it or, or seek the answers from anything outside of myself. I hear you. Hello. <sighs> um, and so that day I decided that I would do things to serve myself. And that was um, getting involved in meditation, going to yoga, saying yes to things and, um, and invitations and, and getting out there and... and being okay with being on my own and um, that was a real challenge for me because I'm not typically on my own a lot um, and I did it and every day I moved further and further away from the pain and I started to rely solely on myself for happiness and fulfillment and um, it really taught me that I don't need to have this despair. Um, we choose to be happy and we and we choose to be sad and we choose to be depressed and we choose to look at situations in either a positive way or a negative way and I had been choosing to look at things in a dark shade of, of like a dark blue or, or a grey or everything is very cloudy and, um, and as soon as I started to be able to control my thoughts more um, I realized that I had been wasting a lot of my time and if I had been more in touch with myself, um, I never would have put myself in a situation where um, I would have got my heart pummeled into a million pieces and I wouldn't have relied on um, filling myself up from other people. And it was a, there was such a lesson in that. And if I hadn't have gone through the stuff that I went through last year, I would not be in the place I am now. I would not be able to be here talking to you about this stuff. And um, the growth through darkness is something that I always remember now. And, you know, I, I often say to my partner, wait, but what is darkness? Is it, is it really darkness or is that just what we choose to interpret it as? Could it be hey, this is just a lesson. I mean, it's a tough lesson and sometimes it doesn't feel good, but this is a, a lesson. So why not, instead of looking at, as, uh, looking at it as a, a shade of a, a dark color, why not say, hey, this is, um, you know, this is a bright orange. This is something that's coming towards me because there's a lesson in this and I got to um, embrace it and um, support it and not judge it and, and be grateful for it. And now I find that I'm in a really beautiful place where when troubling things come my way, I just have a different perspective and it's all a part of life and it's the beauty in life. Um, I grow much more through my failures than I do my successes. And um, so that's something I really wanted to share with you. And, as a result of, of um, my darkness, probably the worst time I've ever had in my life, I'm a much better person. I, I just, I feel 
um, like I'm living much more consciously and I'm making better choices and I'm, I feel really calm and really content and that's just, it's a choice that you need to make and try not to look at the tough times as, as dark try and look at them as all right this is a little hurdle and I'm gonna jump over this and I'm gonna keep moving forward and and I'm gonna be healed and I'm gonna grow through this stuff and learn something really valuable okay wow this is a long one <laughs> um, so yeah embrace the stuff that comes up and don't judge it and sit in it and just observe it and and know that you're going to be okay. You're totally going to be okay. And you're going to look back on it when you're feeling strong and good and, and think, oh, I'm so glad I made it through that. I'm so glad I went through that. And I often think that I wish myself now my um, could go back to my past self last year and go and hold her and tell her that everything's beautiful on the other side. You just, you just wait and move through this and know that it's an incredible gift. Um, of course, it's easier said than done sometimes. Um, all right, guys. Thanks for listening. And um, hopefully I'll get to do a bunch more of these before I leave. Okay. Goodbye.